I think to capture the moment, uh, how the game ended was special for it to be at home uh, with all the parents, cheerleaders, fans, high steppers all on the field. And so we really didn't check the score. I got an update at halftime when we felt like we were somewhat comfortable. Uh, we were at least had a good substantial lead at halftime and checked the score there. And it was John Tyler was winning at that point. And so when the game ended, our kids were just ecstatic. They won. They didn't, the, the playoff part hadn't really set in just yet. Uh, win or lose, uh, being in or out, hadn't set in. And so they were tremendously excited for, for the way they played. We've understand we have been not beaten Sherman or West Mesquite ever. Um, in the seven games that we've played those guys, we, it, it had really been ugly in a lot of cases and frustrating. And so to beat West Mesquite, the way we were able to beat West Mesquite for those kids was like a monkey off the back, kind of just a weight lifted. Um, and so when I went to address the kids at that point, uh, we didn't know. There was 26 seconds left and we felt like we were in a good situation and then John Tyler threw a pick in the end zone. And the only reason I know all this is I had my headsets on still, which is not normal. Um, and I had two guys in the press box giving me live updates as to what was happening. And so Sherman got the ball back and they drove with 28 seconds to go down to the 20. Well, at this point, I've got to say something to our kids. Good or bad, whatever I got to say, we've got to get everybody together and address kind of here's where we are. And so when we brought them up, there was a lot of things I wanted to pray for at that point. <laughs> One was Sherman to not score um, and just to be able to let our kids feel that moment. And so, man, as we got through having a conversation there about kind of what we had done this season and uh, to encapsulate that game with everybody around, we still didn't know. There was 13 seconds left. We couldn't just all stand there. I didn't, and so we had made a plan at halftime with my staff to say, look, when this thing's over, take your kids to their position groups. So good or bad, we're there to one, enjoy the moment, and two, to consult if needed. Um, and I was standing with Connor Allen, who had his phone out, um, and different people had different speeds of internet at that point. And we knew that it was 13 seconds to go. They were on the eight yard line with a chance to win it. And Connor hit refresh on his phone and it said final. Um, and when it said final, you want to say that's final, but you just don't know that the internet's always true. Um, and then I hear on my headsets from my staff upstairs, we're in. And uh, Connor had already announced it to everybody, and, and several other people had as well that we were in. And man, it was a it was a weight lifted, and it was an excitement that just reigned over our stadium amongst our kids, our parents, um, just within our coaching staff was just a lot of them were on their knees um, because a lot of it just to understand where we've been, what was expected, and then what we've done and accomplished. Um, for the staff, it's a weight lifted. Uh, just because they know what the kids have fought. They know how hard these kids have worked. Um, they know that nobody really gave them a chance um, in a lot of ways. They know that these kids hear a lot of stuff outside of these four walls of this facility. And for them to be able to accomplish what they were as a, as a, as a kid, and they'll remember the rest of their life. I mean, I think we all do. I think I can go back to the moment we played our last football game and know exactly where I was in Texas Stadium, how we lost. And with these kids to make the playoff when they weren't expected to, they'll remember this for the rest of their life. They'll remember how much we won by, how we did it, and in that moment where they knew where we were in. And I think even that moment there gives us confidence going into this week, uh, it being the first round. That moment going, we've done it, it happened this way, we're ready to go ahead and play another game type of deal. And so just a true excitement for our program and kind of a, a stamping point as to where we are right now.